Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Gold Rush. All right, we're back at the top of the uh, uh, Green River after dying in the last episode. Uh, so let's go ahead and unhitch wagon. That is a brilliant idea. As thirsty as those animals are, they would have pulled the wagon along with everyone inside over the edge of this steep hill. You were responsible for saving the animal team, the wagon, and the lives of your fellow company members. You are to be commended. Aw, look at our little oxen going down to drink. <laughs> look at all the uh, crashed wagons on the hill. When the oxen return, refreshed and ready to go, you assist in hitching the wagon. Looks like the company is ready to attempt the steep hill. Well, clearly, let's go ahead and save the game again. On attempt 5. Get on wagon. What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? It's pretty sure you could have, uh... There's something that you have to do next, but there we go. Once again, the wagon begins to move and you jump on board. The animals are holding back with all they are worth, but it just isn't enough. The wagon continues to accelerate over the brim of the steep hill. Oh, no. Okay, let's go ahead and restore it. Tempo 5. Okay, we'll lock the wheels. Using your Yankee ingenuity, you put the chains through the wagon wheels to keep the wheels from turning. The wagon starts moving, so you courageously get on. Things are looking good. This is usually the part where I died in uh, in this game, to be honest. Uh, I don't think I ever got past this part on the land trip. I don't think I ever thought of uh, unhitching the team or locking the wheels. During this section of the trail, the going gets tough. There are no rivers going your direction to follow. It is just seemingly endless miles of gravel, rocks, sand, dust, steep hills to climb, and difficult descents. As difficult as it is to keep on going, you have to keep those big wheels turning. The trail gets slightly easier for a few miles as you follow the Bear River. This is a welcome relief. Here the trail forks. The southern route is called Hudspeth's cutoff. That route is slightly shorter as the crow flies, but it misses the stop at Fort Hall. Your captain takes you on the northern route toward the fort. Oh, let's take the shorter one. Fort Hall! After leaving Fort Hall, the company follows the Snake River through a portion of Idaho. Common land, a common landmark is Steeple Rocks. Two pointed columns of rock prominently standing two to three hundred feet in height. It is a relief for your captain to see this landmark come into view. He lets everyone know that the company is right on course. Are we on schedule? From Steeple Rocks, your team continues westward. About 90 miles west of Steeple Rocks, you encounter the Humboldt River. The Humboldt River is a real lifesaver. It is more like a mud ditch than a river, but it preserves life through 300 miles of arid, hostile wasteland. Tombstones of unfortunate travelers and carcasses lie everywhere along the trail. Although the Humboldt River supplied water to People and animals passing by, there are now other factors to challenge the company. Like, can we go hunting for bears and only carry 100 pounds of meat back to the wagon? Fatigue is taking its toll on people and animals who must walk day after day after day, breathing dust and pulverized dung. The continual complaining of company members is adding even more tension. 
There were also diggers, Indians of the Shoshone and Paiute tribes? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I'm not familiar with that one. The diggers steal and kill the precious oxen or mules possessed by the traveling teams. Gold seekers who have lost their animals are also resorting to stealing animals from other companies. I'm not sure where the uh, having young oxen screws you over at uh, this part um, uh, on the trip. But, uh, oh well. Here the trail forks again, requiring another decision on the part of your captain. The choices are the Lassen Cutoff or the Truckee tra truck Route. Captain Buddy decides to take the Truckee Route. Good for him, I guess? I don't know. Oh, that looks like a desert. You, along with everyone else in the company, are now beginning to wonder why Captain Buddy selected the Truckee Route. It takes you directly through a deadly desert, while the Lassen Cutoff avoids the desert completely. It is too late to go back. You'll just have to make the best of it and hope you survive. Uh-oh. You are alone and stranded in the middle of the desert. Those young oxen lacking the stamina of mature oxen died a few miles into the desert. Wait, I thought I got mature oxen. You've been walking for miles and are dying of starvation, thirst, and exhaustion. You can't go much further. Um, I'm pretty sure I got, uh, Mature Oxen. Can I go north? Nope. It seems that Young Oxen would be better, but things aren't always as they seem. I was pretty sure I bought Mature Oxen. Maybe I reloaded the wrong save game. Well, I guess we'll be getting back to this point. I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this again. It's too late to go back. Hopefully I'll survive. You're suffering from severe thirst and starvation. Life as you know it is nearly over. Well, let's, uh... Unless you do something quick. I think I need to go up to that abandoned uh, wagon up here. Open barrel. You see some water in the bottom of the water barrel. Drink water. You drink all the water that remains in the water barrel. But you still need something to eat or you will surely die. Look, wagon. There's an abandoned wagon near the desert trail. You see a barrel on the side of the abandoned wagon. Okay, I've already drunk from that barrel. Look in wagon. In the abandoned wagon, you see some discarded meat. Eat meat. The meat looks repulsive, but you are so hungry you eat every bite. Now you must try and catch up with your company wagon. Wait for me! You're on your way again! Woohoo! Let's go ahead and save it. Uh, I'll go ahead and save it over temp 5. It wasn't far from here that the Donner Party encountered an early winter storm. Just the thought of it sends chills up and down your spine. And I think if you wait too long back at uh, Independence, and shoot, I forgot to turn off my uh, air conditioner. Let's shut that off. Sorry about that. Um, then this is probably about where you'll uh, end up in the winter storm or something. It should take a little bit too long for me to actually try to get to display, but ah well. Mmm, Donner Party. So tasty. Now you are over the summit of the Sierra Nevada mountain range and are beginning your descent into the Sacramento Valley. Just knowing you are getting close gives you a little more energy. Because you used up all your last energy uh, um, 
to get off of your wagon, which probably has enough resources, to go over to an abandoned wagon by the side of the road, get food and water, and then run after the, the uh, uh, your wagon. I'm sure that was smart. Once you reach the Sacramento Valley, you get word from travelers who took Lassen's cutoff that the terrain was formidable. Perhaps Captain Buddy did make a wise decision. You also learn that the U.S. Army, in an attempt to prevent another catastrophe which would dwarf that of the Donner Party, has sent rescue teams to help those men, women, and children still on the trails in the Sierras. Oh, that's handy. You have 95 out of 95! You are right on track! Sutter's Fort. I thought that was actually going to move on for me. But apparently not. Okay. Are you are you going somewhere? You you Oh, jeez. Holy crap. I didn't realize I was there. Uh let's go ahead and save it under Let's save temp 3. Talk man. The lazy guard takes one look at you and says, You look as green as grass, stranger. I imagine you just pulled into the fort. Let me give you a few pointers. You're welcome to take a tour of the fort, but there are only a few folks still hanging around here. Most folks have gone to the hills to look for gold. They hurried off and left their belongings unattended, but you ain't gonna find nothing useful. Seems like the only things of any use these days is a gold pan, a shovel, a lantern, and a trusty mule. These are the guards' living quarters. Quick look at this mess, and you've seen enough. You don't need anything here. Aww. This is just an empty room. The guards watch the gate from here when it's raining. You don't need anything here. Uh, let me actually double check something real quick. I think... Um, yeah, this is basically the point where all the game, where all the uh, different trails converge, so I'm probably going to... Uh, Um, use the, uh, uh, end the vi video here, and we'll pick it up in the next episode, uh, um, taking one of the other routes to get to, uh, Sutter's Fort here. So, we'll see you then.